All the tutorials you'll ever need, brought to you in part by... Wanjo789 What's up guys, this is Watcho789 here bringing you another video for from War Selection today. And this time, it's here, it's finally here, the next country and major update with a whole slew of balance changes and um, different quality of life improvements that we'll be discussing in just a moment here have arrived. Uh, but the new country today is Turkey. Uh, Turkey, I haven't played yet, but from what I've read in the chat, it seems like it's got a real, lot of really strong units. So hopefully if you guys you know, decided to wait this month rather than buying Great Britain or India, and you want to buy Turkey, uh, right now, currently, just from um, what, what I've read in the chat, I've not yet played them at all, um, they've got the best and strongest units in the game. So we've got Sniper, Mortar, Steam Debarker, I don't know, probably pronounced something that wrong. Artillery Tower, uh, Camel Grenade Launcher Guy, the Zambarak, Light Cannon Improved Mine, so hope, I guess probably more iron from them. Um, seems like a very good defensive civilization here. Um, but also, if you look at the bottom left corner here, uh, we made it. Uh, the game is now rotating YouTube videos on more selection. The bottom left is suggestions, and yours truly has made that cut. So thank you so much. And on that note, uh, thank you for getting me to 200 subscribers. We did it, guys. I'm so ecstatic. Um, I love the feedback that you guys have given me. Um, it's really making all of this uh, grinding on on the game to get the tech points by the countries and and you know learn it the best I can so I can share and teach you guys uh, how to play this game better uh, but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the stats all right so here we are I am in the war selection discord and if you guys want to join this server um, it's really great uh, we've got looking for players option here uh, just real fast I've never actually shown the server before but I'll put a link in the description below uh, but you can use looking for players to uh, find people to play uh, there's a chat where we discuss chats there's strategy um, so you can discuss strategy fandom wiki with uh, units and such um, all these different things there's also if you have a different language we've got different language channels um, so on and so forth come say hi and there are a whole bunch of voice chats that you can use uh, to hop into a game like these guys are all together and this guy's currently streaming a game um, but you can use the chat while you're playing the game but anyway let's go ahead to patch notes here and so here are the patch notes for the April 30th update once again they said it was coming out in sometime in April and uh, we got lucky it came out on time on the very last day of April but here we go I'm just gonna try to breeze through this um, as fast as we can uh, new country added Turkey countries can be purchased for both tech po technology points and for money um, turns out so I think each country if I remember correctly is eight dollars now or if you want to buy the Imperial edition of the game it's available from the in-game store it's 40 US dollars and that will unlock all future country leases and the current ones so uh, one time big purchase um, and you get everything in the game that is currently existing and and existing to come um, rating matches also give t technology points now so hopefully I'll kinda get back into the 1v1 grind soon uh, with the tech points being added um, tech points now um, you don't, it's not based off of time alone. So before, uh, free for all give you the most tech points, and team matches will give you a little bit less. But the longer the game went, um, and whether or not you won, would determine how much tech points you get. Uh, so if you played for like an hour and a half game, and you won, that would give you a lot more tech points than winning a game in like 15 minutes or losing. Um, this is another update I'll show in the uh, actual game when I show off Turkey, but. Um, Units can now choose the mode of attack automatic selection of the attack target, so they can either attack the closest unit or the best target, which I think means the weakest unit. So pretty much all ranged units. Um, I really like the direction they're finally taking this to get a little bit more micro management with your uh, military units now. Um, so I think you know pretty much all melee units probably closest target, uh, unless they're a fast attacking target, then maybe best target. But um, most of the time, I would say melee units probably you would want to set them on closest target. And for archers and any ranged units, best targets so they're taking out the weakest ones and getting them out of there um most match while watching replay you can see graph of game match timeline oh yeah they've started to finally add some analytics to the game um like other games have done uh so i'm really looking forward to see that um not too much else here. A couple of interface options. So Stone Age, we've got a bunch of um, increase to buildings, uh, either through armor or health. Um, that just makes it a little bit e harder to destroy the building so quickly. I don't think this will actually have too much of an impact just because uh, Stone Age buildings are still really weak. You can pretty much clean them out very fast with um, 
stone warriors or any other stone age unit um, if you're destroying stone buildings so uh, not too much to note there uh, workers have a little bit more building damage um, but also you're not really going to be destroying enemy buildings with stone age villagers so <clears throat> Probably not really much for their um, issue there. Macemen, though, armor increased from 0 to 2 on average. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but um, I think we're going to see uh, a return to Macemen being a viable Stone Age unit. Um, early Europe, we have archers, and uh, I'm going to breeze through these pretty quickly, but pretty much the main thing here, towers uh, in both Europe and Asia got a buff in their armor. Um, and archers are now weaker at destroying buildings, so don't use archers to destroy buildings anymore. It wasn't that good in the first place. And then cavalry, that's pretty much the biggest thing you want to take away from all of this, is that cavalry, all of them are getting health boosts from 150 to 180. And, you know, competitively speaking, uh, cavalry weren't really a great unit because uh, they're not efficient. They take two pop but they had before the same health so for example the horse archer had 150 health um we can just look here like west asia oglon so that's their uh horse archer health that was 150 and their regular archer was one uh, 75 hp but only cost one pop space so for the same amount of pop space you can or you can get two archers or one horse archer and obviously two archers are dealing twice the amount of damage because the damage is the same and they have the same health so it's like you're basically, if you do horse archers, then, um, although, you know, the speed makes them convenient, and this unit's kind of an exception, but in general, it works the same across all cavalry, both melee and uh, ranged cavalry, that you're, you're losing a lot of attack speed uh, when you're doing the same population amounts, because you can get twice as many of the infantry units as you can of the uh, cavalry, and they didn't have extra health or anything like that, so cavalry, if you're playing competitively, uh, not that uh, strong, but with this uh, with this um, health increase across pretty much all cavalry, that might help make them a little bit more viable. And specifically on the Eastern Europe light knight, so they they got a 25 as opposed to um, from 160 to 185 health. And this is actually pretty strong because light knights have strong armor. So every time if you have better armor, the more HP you add, the more exponentially better that that uh, unit gets in terms of power. Because what happens is that extra 25 HP that since they have har every HP is harder to take down. Down, the more armor you have so having that extra 25 hp uh, plus their good armor that's 25 hp more that's going to be hard to you know get through because it's going to your attacks are constantly being uh, blocked by the light knights high armor so honestly light knights um, they are really slow to get out and that's pretty much their main issue right now but we could see um, light knights maybe sometime soon making it back into the competitive or not back into but entering for the first time the competitive scene um Industrial Revolution, there's a new unit, the Steamboat. I'm not sure what that does. Um, trawler is the fishing ship in the Industrial Revolution, is now faster at getting food. Soldier damage uh, reduced from 24 to 22. A lot of these are minor things. And if, you know, they do have impact, but overall shouldn't really change exactly how you play. Um, trench mortars, uh, the time to in between attacks increased from 7 to 8 seconds. And then also in the elephant trench mortar, it increased from 6 to 8 seconds. So it's a little bit of a nerf on the mortars, which was much needed i agree with that price increase in the elephant trench more is also in terms of food uh, it's now 600 food instead of 500 food um, so i like that there but also i don't think that's too much of a nerf i think elephant trench more is uh still really strong maybe a little bit too strong um, so we have that there that's about it though for the stats you know and again join the discord if you want to read all of them but i just wanted to give a brief overview the main takeaways is macemen um now have a decent armor amount so they might be strong archers are worse at killing buildings cavalry have more health so uh have fun with those units and towers across the board are a little bit tankier and harder to kill and then obviously we have turkey so uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to hop into a match and show off the newest country, Turkey. And here it is, folks, the moment we've all been waiting for. Welcome to, and three, two, one, Turkey. Not the best timing on my part, but there we go. Okay, so um, very cool building here. 
nice little like mosque. Uh, looks like the Hagia Sophia, the blue mosque. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna upgrade all of our villagers. I have a ton of, I took my time, uh, wanted to get plenty of resources so I can get all of our buildings up and running really fast. Um, so that's gonna be all good. We're getting all of our warehouse upgrades here. Be able to upgrade a house in a moment here. And once I get a little bit more food, I'll upgrade the rest of them. And then we'll also get this population upgrade. Um, update you on the game. My allies are making a nice push forward um, here onto the opponents. They've been fighting and skirmishing here for a while. I made a little Sarbaz army at home to or at red here on the front line. Uh, it's kind of helped defend them, but this seems to be the only choke point right here. Um, and they're fighting. They're having a nice little skirmish here going on. We got some light knights out of my ally purple and some... Uh, European Iron Age archers out of orange Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, anyway, let's see what we've got going on here. So now that we've got that all done, you guys can all go to the farm. And boom, we can get all of our villagers upgrading here. Give me the rest. Wow, it only costs 5300 Oh! Okay, well, I guess I'm upgrading my archery ranges. Oops. And we'll go ahead and upgrade some of the houses as well. So we're now out of resources, but that's okay. Um, let's also go ahead and get the population upgrade. Want more units to play around with here. Um, obviously, new um, music here. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to hear because I have it kind of turned down a little low, but um, it sounds cool. Let's go ahead and make some of our important buildings here. We will go ahead and make the university. Actually, nah, screw the university. We're gonna go make some factories here and see what we got going on. There, we also need an arsenal, which we can make as soon as these guys are done upgrading. And our resources should skyrocket pretty quickly here. Also, oh, we actually do want a university because Turkey, as if I'm correct, has the tractor, so that's very nice, adding to their list of very strong units. Um, let's take a look at the house here in a second. Where am I going to place this? You know what? Forget you, house. We need space for a factory. Um, pretty cool. I don't know, not too much to say there, but um, pretty cool buildings. Uh, I'm not going to rotate my camera, too lazy to do that. And then I know that they have the artillery tower, and before I mention that, um, the artillery tower, longest range in the game, simple as that. They have a range of 500, absolutely insane. Um, Turkey boasts soldiers, cavalry, and machine gunners, so I, they're only missing rangers, but guess what? They have snipers, so we're gonna go ahead and make a few of those guys. Um, they have this m mode that they can like hide in, supposedly. Um, they can like hide in the ground, be like invisible or something. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I've read reports that that indeed crashes the game right now. So uh, let's not do that. We also have the improved mine here. Maybe it's only available in IR2 because it says mine, so we'll find out, I guess. But we've got that going on, and um, we need more villagers. We're running out of wood. Let's see, these guys, these bad boys, take 40 seconds to train, 200 food, 150 wood, and 100 iron, so honestly, not that bad. And I have no wood. Yeah, no wood to speak of. Uh, let's take a look here. We've got the mortar. It's interesting, requires an arsenal, which actually I want you guys to build next. If we can get some wood up, that'd be great. And then they also have this light cannon, 400 food, 200 wood, 100 seconds to train, 400 iron, not too bad, pretty cheap. 400 food, 300 wood, 600 iron, also pretty cheap, a little heavy on the iron, but, you know, that's cool. Alright, it really looks like it doesn't want me to get tractors anytime soon. Oh, here are the snipers. Oh, and lastly, um, I wanted to talk about the um, unit thing. So we have a new button down here, and this is the, you can use hotkey X to change it, but um, if you do it, it changes division back to the brain. I think the brain means use this is the best unit to attack that, you know, because they got to think. I'm not sure exactly, but I think that's where they'll target like the weakest units, kind of use as they do before if you just do a normal Q attack. And then if you switch to vision, they'll attack the closest unit. So that's all fun and games there. Um, you know what? Honestly, we're going to get rid of the sorry bass. Don't need to talk about you. And I also didn't mention, but you, I believe, um, 
Turkey is only accessible from from uh, West Asia. So kind of sad that Eastern Europe doesn't have a option yet for a cool IR country, but um, oh well, hopefully that'll be the next one. Anyway, so this is the sniper on position button. Supposedly like they hide or go on the ground or something. I don't really know. I don't want to mess with it. Um, but let's look at the stats here. So 30 damage. They have 200 range. They attack four, every four seconds. Armor is not strong, but not that bad. And look at that spread. 2%. They really are snipers. Um, they are going to hit 98% of the time. And building damage is 10 so really bad building damage but the, it looks like these guys in mass are really gonna do some damage um, without ever missing uh let's go ahead oh wait never mind no tractor somebody said tractor guess not wasting my time that's fine so in that case we're probably gonna need a few more villagers on food just to keep that running smoothly although we have all the food in the world which is fine um let's go ahead and make couple light cannons here a couple mortars and we'll talk about stats and then at the end of the video i'm going to push out and attack the opponents and you guys will get to watch that we also need to get the rest of our houses upgraded here so i can showcase that at the arsenal we have mortar okay so that's let's go ahead and research mortar and then ballistic sight which increases cannon accuracy obviously because these are both cannons probably something we should get and we're still pumping out villagers let's go ahead and get a few more villagers from the uh, what do you call it? University as well. Um, and then we're going to add some houses to the queue here. No, you guys built that first. I'm going to get my full population upgrade in. Nice, got the uh, house finished. And then, oh, I want to upgrade one of these towers, but we are really low on wood. Um, so hopefully that cleans up there. Okay, so that's just a mine. Maybe an IR2 to get the improved mine. Uh, the mine does 20... Um, iron every few seconds looks like maybe five I don't, i'm not entirely sure um but we'll check that out in a moment and i'll go ahead and get the scouting upgrade before going ir2 i just want to see where the opponents are um no different units at sea there is a really nice lake here up north that i'm sure i could get to which would be cool but we're gonna have to hold off on that for now let's check in real fast on how our allies are doing looks like they're making a lot of progress but oh and they've killed uh, they've obviously killed off. Uh, no, they haven't. Um, oh, right, because they team based. So uh, that purple player or the pink player, whoever was here, um, is currently here. So they haven't actually hit any of the opponents yet, which is nice, which hopefully means I'll get some resistance and we can have a better showcase of what these units are all about. Um, getting a lot more wood now, which is nice. We're finally getting our. Mortars, okay, 180 seconds, that's three minutes. They're really slow to make, but we do have the light cannon up. So speed is 45, so that's actually pretty fast. Uh, okay, they definitely turn really slowly. So that's an interesting mechanic. Uh, anyway, they look cool. Let's see, 150 damage, 15% um, miss range, so 85% of the time they attack. Range of 50 to 350, armor is 70% of 15. That is pretty good. They are five population though, so pretty expensive on the population front indeed, but looks like these are early squad cannons. So if you have light tanks or armored cars in the first industrial revolution, all other civilizations really gonna struggle unless they get their own light tanks out because these guys making 100 seconds, they're cheap, 150 damage, they are pretty accurate, super long range. There you go. Turkey, great IR1 civilization so far. And we haven't even got the uh, ballistic upgrade yet, so they're going to be even more accurate after that. Go ahead and queue up that. Um, oh, M. Okay, so I don't upgrade the tower. I upgrade. I build a brand new tower, the military tower, so, or the artillery tower. It's got this kind of interesting look to it, which I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one of these guys. Um, to do it now obviously artillery tires are going to need vision to be able to attack uh but guess what you have balloon towers so just build a balloon tower too with your artillery towers and bam you're going to kill so many units before they even know what hit them uh, again i think it's a little bit overpowered but oh well they also have access to the regular trench mortar here so that's all fun and games uh, we'll go ahead and make a couple more snipers I think go for uh, this long range army here going to build a few more of these light tank boys. <clears throat> Got the vision upgrade so we can see where they all are. Is anyone up here? I wonder. Nope. Okay, so this is all water. 
Um, cool stuff. Check in on how our allies are doing. Someone made a cannon from the medieval age. Interesting. Got some chew canoes, which are a pretty decent unit. And it looks like we're getting a little bit of lag. Again, as the game is uh, brand new um, in the update, and it probably is me causing it because of Turkey, uh, they're the new sieve. But um, anyway, so, okay, tower looks the same. Let's see how this bad boy looks and queue up a few more houses. Okay, so they do 180 damage, and there you have it, 300 to 500 range. So, the, okay, yep, going to go ahead and... Uh, Wow, I think he just sniped something. 20%, um, so they hit four out of five times. Pretty good. Um, good accuracy. 180 damage, though, at 500 range. Now, they can't attack anything inside 300 range, so that is going to um, be a problem, you know, if they start rushing you. So uh, have units to defend or some machine gun towers because, obviously, they have no minimum range. Um, this is a ridiculously strong unit and ridiculous armor with 180... Uh, 400 health, which let's look at these size. 60 health, so that's actually, I think, less than the soldier, or maybe the same as the soldier. Um, so not much health there. And these guys also not that much on the health front as compared to, like, tanks. But again, high damage output at a long range. Again, we're really looking at a very strong defensive civilization here. And I forgot to queue up my farm. spread you guys out halfway to the industrial revolution 2 and we can see if we get any new units there actually well i do know we get some new units new units because we have the camel grenade launcher which seems like yet another op unit from turkey i did like though um and i didn't get to show this but when <laughs> i went to buy the uh, turkey with tech points it was like don't buy this country if you think or any country if you think that it's the best one because they are obviously subject to change so hopefully we do see nerfs coming out of it and obviously i haven't really tested this that much but um definitely in the meantime it looks like indeed these guys are a bit op so if you want some fun with some ridiculously strong industrial evolution units have at it folks um it's the way to go let's go ahead and get a few more um snipers out and a few more light tank cannons what do you call them um, no mine upgrade yet. I do need more villagers on iron. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Um, here we go. And honestly, you can add a few more villagers to wood here. I'm just going to steal you guys, and you're going to go get iron somewhere as well. Um, right here. Boom, cool. And you guys are done so you know what we're gonna do we are gonna have you guys build a few more artillery towers at home and then we'll build we'll upgrade one of these guys to a machine gun tower and then we'll use that to get a vision on the coast in case we try to get attacked from the coast and these guys with their 500 range easily hit anything probably as far as out here so cool stuff huge iron problems <laughs> i messed up because i once uh these guys were done getting the iron i built the mine and put them on wood and forgot about it so uh typically they probably should be making another mine but there you have it and these guys yeah look at that this guy right here is hitting this let's see if there's anything further that we can hit can we hit this i don't think so okay so not too too far um 1000 wood cost 800 iron so they are expensive um, are going to require a lot to get up, so that's good in terms of like balance, um, but just keep that in mind. You guys go on something else. I'm not sure what. I have stupid amounts of wooden food, <laughs> which is great. Let's get you guys. Okay, so you're all waiting here to build. Um, why not go get some more iron? Not sure why other civilizations or countries don't get the improved mine. It seems like not really fair. It doesn't seem like, I don't know what's like, you know, historically speaking, why Turkey in the industrial age would get a better iron mine. But hey, maybe they have a lot of iron in their country. Who knows? And finally, we are almost to the 
Industrial Revolution, and wow, this fight's still going on. They've been fighting forever. Uh, a lot of pressure out of everyone. Um, cool stuff. I really want more iron, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of iron drain right now. Hopefully when this finishes, we'll see an improvement to iron. Cool stuff. And then we'll go, we'll get the uh, tech upgrade too. Okay, here we are. So 2,000 food, 1,000 wood, improved mine. Let's do it. Let's see what it does. Um, wow, okay, so yep, Zamborax. Uh, they have access to submachine gunners, so if you're out of iron like I am, make those guys really strong. Let's go ahead and queue up 10 of these guys. Um, also very expensive food and wood, but the iron cost is actually pretty cheap, so nice stuff there. Um, you're upgraded. Let's go ahead and get you into a vision tower. Very nice. Any new units here? Yes, we have the APC and the regular squadron cannon. So fun stuff there. I'm going to make one squadron cannon then delete it just so I can compare some stats. Um, that'll be nice to look at. Anyway, just get these guys. Now, hold on. I forgot to compare the mortar. So the mortar range, 180 damage, 300 to 500 range. That's absolutely insane. So this is 50, 300 to 150. So uh, these fire every nine seconds. So that's actually a pretty slow fire time. These fire every 12 seconds, 14% miss rate, 10% miss rate. So uh, essentially these guys, uh, not as much damage, but can handle things a little bit up closer, fire a little bit faster. So those are good. But if you're doing, if you're really trying to put on a big siege or need some big defense um, against like tanks and stuff, mortars, way to go. APCs, armored cars, light cannon. Mortars, tanks. Simple as that. How long do these guys take to make? 90 seconds. So that's, wow. Okay, so all of their units are taking, maybe that's a change that they didn't actually put in the update. I could have sworn that these guys all took longer, um, like especially the grenade launcher. I mean, it's a whole minute, which is still like slow, but um, I don't know. Interesting. Oh, okay. Improved iron mine. Uh, got a little thing on top now. So that's cool. Uh, oh, I didn't see. What's it do? 40 iron. Um, every few seconds. So literally is like having two mines. That's insane. Zambarak, we'll look at you guys in a second here um, as soon as they get over. Cool stuff. Now, when, where, where is that squadron cannon being made? 140 seconds, and these guys make it 100. So you can also make these guys 40% faster. Seems kind of insane. Um, whatever, though. <laughs> no upgrades out of the artillery tower for IR2. Which is fine. Anyway, um, and no, uh, whatever the next one, there's like another one you can get for vision. Um, don't have that, so that's okay too. Um, so you are, you don't have the best vision tower in the game, but like, honestly, they shouldn't. <laughs> um, let's go here, okay. Oh, and we have heavy tanks, of course. Of course they have heavy tanks. They got like everything. That's crazy stuff. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and get the wonder before anyone else does. We are 47 minutes in the game, so it's been long enough. And it looks like our allies are continuing to push back. They are now using late medieval units. Um, so we're going to get ready to go ahead and stomp them with these guys. We're honestly going to keep the mortars in the same control group and then you guys will be control group six only six of them out which is fine um anyway oh yeah they're damaged so 100 damage fires every nine seconds so a little bit of a slow range just like the grenade launcher but they move at a speed of 80 and have three armor at 70 percent. so again low armor um 25 percent miss rate so uh, not the best in terms of accuracy but once again this is essentially a mobile grenade launcher absolutely insane um crazy i don't whatever uh we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna join the fight up here with our long range units and test them out uh oh forgot to keep my farm again always forgetting that always forgetting because with 35 villagers they move so fast um we're gonna go ahead and make a couple of normal towers here don't want anyone to like snipe me at home and that 250 pop cap kind of sucks, but whatever. I mean, everyone has 250 except for India. Gets 300, which is fine. 
And yep, as you can see, uh, the sniper has a 60 speed, this guy 80, so these guys move so fast. And you guys are freaking out. Move. There you go, one at a time, good job. Seems like their pathing's gotten a little bit better. I know that's also something the developers have been working on is pathing and like fixing that. So hopefully the pathing like gets better in the game um, soon because it's been really annoying at time. Oh, also the mortar has a little turkey flag on it. Fun fact. Anyway, let's see, anyone in the industrial revolution yet? No. Oh, we got some enemy galleon ships. Sounds like perfect cannon fodder for anything really that we have. Uh, 30 damage, and let's see their armor here. Um, 10 armor, so they do 20 damage per shot, 565. I have 32 snipers. We're doing 320 damage every shot, every four seconds. So in eight seconds, I can kill one of these, um, sometimes faster. So in basically 32 seconds, I could finish these galleons out. Um, you'll notice I talk about stats more. I'm trying to work on my stats commentary, um, as I think that's going to be more important as more players get better. Uh, taking a closer look at the stats is going to be helpful. 75% of the wonder. Let's see. Okay, snipers and our camel grenade launchers are there. Yeah, don't use snipers for buildings. <laughs> I guess we use these guys, though. Boom. No problems. And our mortars are finally catching up. Nice. This uh, light tank is pushing the mortar. Speed of 40, speed of 45. So... Pretty fast, to be honest. Pretty happy with that. Uh, let's go ahead and get a mine. Um, wrong hotkeys here. Oh, also, I didn't mention this, but if you're wondering why my username is Odin, it is because I my t in the 2v2 tournament that's upcoming, well, we had to delay it because um, of this update, and like we don't want the game crashing all the time. Um, wow, why are your villagers over here? Leave me alone. Um, because they... Uh, Watcher doesn't really go well for team names, <laughs> um, and my teammates and game username is often... Oh, why did you guys path this way? Everyone, here, hold on, hold on. We're going to do this. Boom. Boom. Oh, they're not going to like this. All right, time to start pushing through. Is that enemy units? Wow, all right, so we're gonna just queue forward here. And as you can see, these snipers won't have to move much further forward to start attacking units. Yeah, nice, nice little range here. Anyway, you guys um, go do something useful. There, I guess. Don't forget to queue up our farm upgrade and you guys, uh, honestly, die. Give me more pop space. Wow, lag, lag like crazy. Um, yeah, snipers, these guys are cutting everything down. Um, these tanks, really cutting everything down. This is, let's see how fast these mortars can take out this building. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that's it for that. Um, let's see how fast they take down the tower. We have to wait a few seconds for them to fire. Yeah, um, so <laughs> light cannons, ridiculous. Snipers holding up against soldiers. This, like I said, this is crazy. Oh, I lost a mortar. Oh, well. We're just going to clean these bad boys up. Oh, you guys make a mine. All right, and I gotta upgrade this mine. 
wow, the, the this is ridiculous. I mean, the econ the fact that they get upgraded mines is insane. Like, they already have really strong units that are like relatively cheap. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Uh, I'm just shocked. Like, what are you doing, uh, developers? Like, this is this is abusive. And again, not, I wouldn't say it's pay to win because Abstract is honestly, in my opinion, the second best Civ, and that's the free one. But until they nerf this, this this is gonna uh, Turkey's gonna be really hard to deal with. I just don't I just don't see how they deal with like something like this. Um, it, at least in, in in the Industrial Revolution one. In the Industrial Revolution one, like you're you're pretty much screwed against Turkey. But if you get to IR two, you know you have units that do compare. So at that point, you know who has the better economy, you know what have you. But, excuse me, um, until then, I just don't see uh, what you really do. Like, here, looking at the tank, obviously 600 health, but if we look at the uh, light tanks, or cannons or whatever, um, 300 health. So half health, but like, they're probably like half as cheap, to be honest, and they deal just as much damage, if, if not more, really. In fact, I think they do deal more. Where are those tanks? I don't know. Who's attacking me? Anyway, um, you guys need to like push forward, please. Oh, I think it's because you guys are all stuck. Okay, they decided that they can't get through this little patch here and they're gonna move another way. Really wasting my time. I wish buildings, when you killed a player, would go away. They're really annoying, especially their towers. They got food. I see. Oh, right, squadron can. Totally forgot about that. So, oh, 250 damage to 150 damage. Um, 400 range compared to... 350, so outranges them, but these guys have 500, so and 180 damage, so and 14%. How long can these guys miss? No, they're better. So, okay, yeah, squad cannons, definitely your way to go. They still get outranged by if you're playing someone else, um, another country, but uh, squadron cannons, like I said, you know, Industrial Revolution 2, you do have stuff to work with here. They take up six space, which these guys only take up five, but how much do these guys take up? Five. Okay, so you can actually get for every every six, you can get one extra. You, or yeah, these guys can only make five, where you could make six. So you know that's another thing. Oh gosh, right. See, look at that. We're getting attacked, but guess what? We have um, artillery towers, so no problems. Stop hitting me. He's being a douche. I'm just gonna make more <laughs> with all of you guys. I don't need any food. I got 33,000. They are going to destroy my vision tower, and that's really going to be annoying. Let's get a new one up. Yeah, you guys want to destroy that, please? And honestly, let's see. Oh, let's see if we can get the repair off. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He missed. That's too bad. And our vision tower stays up. Good stuff. So I'm talking about, I said, they'll hit me from the sea. It doesn't matter. All I have to do is just keep making more of these guys. And I'm indestructible from sea. And pretty much anything else. Anyway, let's check how we're doing. Let's see if we can go up here somewhere and fight someone else, maybe. Also, why are you guys stuck? Stop. There we go. Wow, I wanted to fight, man. They don't have any units. Anyway, let's see how fast it take long it takes to knock these guys out with these grenade launchers, camel grenade launchers. 
absolutely insane. Like, what the heck? But honestly, guys, like, don't freak out over how strong these guys are right now. Like, I'm for sure confident they're going to get a buff and or a nerf and other civs will get buffs and also like i said you know they do seem strong but also you know if other players actually make units in the industrial revolution like these guys can be countered uh you know i think the biggest weakness of turkey is and like i said why they're so good defensively is they have long range but obviously a lot of these units have minimum range so if you get anything fast like motorcycles even apcs as long as they don't get completely shredded by these guys just get up in their face you, you know you're gonna mow most of these units down pretty fast but obviously they also have submachine gunners so you know in the hands of a smart player it's gonna be difficult but definitely not like broken it's not broken they're not broken strong they're just too strong right now so not the end of the world, but uh, that is definitely my takeaway from, from that. Ah, oh, he's trying to take my iron. Don't do that, dude. Anyway, we're just going to make more of you guys, I guess. Alright, where are my units at? Do we finish him? Yeah, we did. Alright, time to go on to the next unfortunate soul. Is this a guy right here? Yeah, on the main map, we can see. Uh, I want to go this guy. It looks like he's got Wonder or something, so forget it. Our goal is to finish off all the opponents before they get to the... Um, before my Wonder wins, so. And obviously this video is going to be going on for quite some time. So hopefully that's okay uh, with you guys. And I wish they were putting up more of a fight, but alas, we are not so lucky. Don't mind me. Yes, yeah, some units to fight. All right, and and okay, obviously, you know, with the range, kind of useless if you don't have uh, what do you call it? Um, vision. So I should have brought villagers. Should have made a fort at university. Didn't do that. Don't care. <laughs> Come on, hit him. Oh no, my farm, again. Let's get a couple more of these guys. I like the snipers. Snipers are cool. Wow, they choose to hit the tiger, of course. And all those guys are dead because they're all grouped together and had no, um, oh man. Oh no, it's so sad. He's trying. Oh look, he's got grenade launchers. But my snipers are gonna one-shot you and never miss. Not one-shot, they're 60 health, so it's a two-shot. But like, come on. Oh well. We need more, we need way more snipers. And also I should have way more barracks, but like obviously we're just playing, playing around. And you guys, like, this is what's gonna, I think that's also something that they need to fix, but like, if there are enemy, like, player units in range, they need to do something about the player units, not random tigers a million miles away. No thanks, please, like, leave me alone. Like, please, like, oh, once again, look at that. Oh, actually, never mind. That is, I was, I was talking smack. Um, those are mortars, and they got crushed. That's too bad. Oh yeah, see, he did build wonder. That's unfortunate. Um, what are you guys firing at now? Oh. Villagers. Alright, we should probably move you guys up and go finish off. Let's see how far they can hit. Get an idea of their range here. Oh no! All right, look, this is what I'm saying. Light tanks, got a problem, boom. Uh-oh, is he gonna get inside the minimum range? No, he stops. Big mistake. And 
and they're gonna hit those guys from farther than they can reach. Is that an enemy? No, that's uh, an allied thing. Majigger. Majigger. Thingamajig. Um, okay, you guys, I don't know what happened, but... Alright, yeah, right, 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 right. We're gonna see how long. No, let me get a volley off. I wanna see when he stops. Right here. Boom. So, at 350 range, that seems to be like one screen almost all the way zoomed out. Cool stuff. Wow, lag. I was like clicking my units to go over here and they like didn't do anything. Let's make some... Are you guys still have those in the queue? No, they were done. Alright, cool. Oh no, the boar. Attack of the boar. Leave me alone, boar. You villager run away. Go, go get somewhere else. I'll keep you alive. Um, okay, that guy quit. So we're just gonna go to the last guy. Boom. Oh, why are you pathing this way? See, this is what I'm talking about. Pathing needs to fix itself, please. <clears throat> and likewise, you know, again, I have like no short range units to defend these guys. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I have like 16 snipers now, but I'd love to show that like getting in the ground thing. I think it's got like a cool animation or something, but apparently not. Also, why? Why? See, look at that. They're just like trying to walk up here. I don't get it. You can't walk on water. You're not Jesus. Alright, so... All right, we were going this way. How close are you guys to making them done? All right, please, 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 for the love of God, go over there. All right, cool. Final opponent, guys, and that will end our, you know, conclusive video. But like, again, the big takeaways, um, yeah, okay, so this is my mind, sorry. Not sorry. Um, boom gonna do that um big takeaways turkey very strong civilization all around uh but definitely boasts uh range and attack strength which would lend itself to great and fantastic defense with the, obviously the longest range units in the game at 500 range i mean it's insane the fact that this is 500 range and the artillery tower at home 500 range minimum of 300 so kind of scary if they get too close but Ridiculous, they have mobile grenade launchers too. What do you know? That's insane. You're going to be able to move across the map faster, not have to worry about uh, making like new um, buildings and such as fast, like forward bases. It's crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and we are going to put this guy out of his misery. And why? Oh, why did you guys do that? I feel bad. They're having such a great fight on my allies down here. But you know what? We got to do what we got to do. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for getting me to 200 subs. I know it's been a while since I've been posting videos, but obviously that was because I've been waiting on this update. I've been grinding out the tech points and we have this TV2 uh, tournament that I was expecting to have videos already out by now for, but obviously with the update, we want to let the game stabilize first before moving forward and let the new meta take place and give the players to take a chance. But 32 teams, um, you know, as uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I am currently the reigning 2v2 champion. That was the first ever 2v2 tournament. This is the second one, much bigger, uh, a lot more competition. So hopefully we'll go far. I want to, you know, at least get top three because now they're offering tech points. Uh, once more, the Discord link is 
going to be in the description below, so please check that out. Please come say hi and hang out. I'm very active there as I'm one of the moderators. Um, but once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more guides, more first impressions and reviews, and general gameplay. It's been fun. Watch us if hold up. And if you made it this far, congrats to you guys because I have one more thing to show. I totally forgot, but in the replay, um, in the replay, they now have, uh, if you press F1 for the minimap, so they now have chronology, which is actually very cool. You can actually show teams, which is nice. I think my team's the red team. Yeah, my team's the red team. Um, I'm gonna take that off though. I'm Odin right here, so like I think this this is me. Um, seems about right, but you can show so many different things. It's very cool. Um, so you have a summary, which I guess is like general score, territory size, which is cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and like speed this up, so you can actually see it in real time happening here. Um, so zero minutes, the first six minutes and thirty seconds. War. Um, interesting. I think that. Oh yeah, that's because. Let's see. Uh, army. Um, Maybe? No, I don't know. War, I think it's because I built... Oh, war must be military buildings. Um, because I've not made like any units yet, but I've made a lot of archery ranges, so clearly here, me relative to everyone else, we can see what's going on there. Economy-wise, we're doing pretty well. Uh, Food-wise, you can see this. Uh, clearly, it's, I think, also kind of like a point. I don't know. I'm not sure why it goes up and down. I figured it would just kind of like... Oh, it's because this guy was making no food. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we can see like how much food we're doing. We can see material. We can see metal, which didn't. Nobody got metal obviously until about six and a half minutes in, which I was the first one. <laughs> and <clears throat> then you can see this guy went crazy on the metal, which is all fine and dandy. Enemy slain. Um, I guess it counts boars. So I was killing boars at like three minutes and fifteen seconds. So that must be why. Maybe summary. We're all doing fine and dandy there territory it's going to be the same i don't really expand my territory at all so that is what it is in terms of economy um clearly the biggest economy just by a little bit the, whoever this guy is is the second biggest one but there we have it i want to see though kind of how it changes once we get to the later game um so i'm going to cut this out and i will jump forward talk to you guys in one second Okay guys, so it seems like the replay broke because here it shows I have 34 idle villagers and they're not gathering and my farm keeps expanding and I know I've never made it that large so oh well there but we can look here real fast just looking at summary. Um, you kind of see some cool stats and things like that, war, um, army, uh, so on and so forth. Now obviously I would have crushed in the army slain um, pretty quickly here just because I don't know, I started wrecking everything, but um, economy-wise, you can look how much, I mean, this, I mean, like, workers, see how much workers I have? Like, right here, I have the equivalent of these three players combined. That's how many workers I have at this point in the game. Three players combined, and it's going to show in the food, um, although, because the replay bro broke, you can see that, like, I'm no longer collecting food, but not true, so here is probably the most accurate, but, like, once again, you can see right here, my food just skyrockets, and I'm making as many as, you know, the equivalent of two to three players here, once again. Same with material. Um, I guess they're still working, but it's going to be even bigger. Like, I'm collecting, in this case, as many players as these four or these four combined. Like, I'm just making so much more wood. It's absolutely insane. And metal, again, is going to have dropped off. But, like, right here, once again, four times. If you're making four times as many resources, doesn't matter what units you make. Doesn't matter about any of that you're just gonna be doing better. But I am so hype that they finally brought this. Um, you could see it in team version here, I guess. As always, the host is always red. So that's the first player to join the game. So the red team's always gonna be that team. So if you're on the host team with red, that's your team. Other team, these guys. So uh, if you wanna see the team, it'll show that. But I love this. I hope they expand upon it. This is absolutely fantastic. And I'm a huge fan of that. Um, so, so awesome. Good, great stuff. Really excited. Um, but once again, you just wanted to showcase that. And again, to view it, you just have to go to your replay of your most recent match, press F1 for mini map, chronology tab. You got all these different things that you can show. Super cool stuff. Once again, and one more time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.